combining the high riding driving position of an SUV with the exterior dimensions of a more regular sized hatchback, it marked the birth of what's widely regarded as the first commercially successful crossover hatchback. Rivals were quick to launch their own takes on Nissan's formula for sales success and as consumer appetites for crossovers developed, so have the cars. Those with more athletic styling and more dynamic, driver-focused handling traits have emerged of late, enlivening what was previously a rather snooze-inducing segment. Next to seats excellent Ka, Toyota's striking CHR and Audi's upmarket Q2, Nissan's reserved, yet still very complete, Qashqai suddenly seems old hat. The T-Rock is Volkswagen's belated first crack at such a car, with the new rival sitting below the larger Tegan and Touareg in the company lineup and priced from £18,950. And, boy, does it have its work cut out. The Volkswagen Group already has an auto car class leader in the shape of the Tka, as well as the new Skoda Krik and Q2. In short, there's no lack of competition, even in-house. So what does the T-Rock bring to the, rather crowded, table? For starters, there's the 187 bhp and four-wheel drive of the 2.0 TSI turbocharged petrol model we're placing under the microscope. Both traits promise performance and handling dynamism that you could almost expect to be GTI-like. It's plainly a striking thing to behold, too, being more athletic, elegant, purposeful and interesting in its slightly decorated appearance than the crossover norm, although you'd never call it shabby or over the top. At £31,485, this T-Rock is not exactly cheap, mind. You'll shell out the best part of £1,400 less for a like for a Lightga, the reigning class leader, remember, and V. If it's to justify the tall asking price, it's going to have to make a solid case for itself in this road test.